Please cross the line if you've ever felt hurt or judged because of the color of your skin. And please cross the line if you've ever been teased or hurt because somebody thought you were fat or too big. Please cross the line if you've ever been teased or hurt for wearing glasses, braces, a hearing aid, for the way that you talked, for the clothes that you wore, or for the shape, size, or the appearance of your body. We laugh at sheep because sheep just follow the one in front. Ah, oh, stupid sheep. We humans have out sheep the sheep because at least the sheep need a sheepdog to keep uh, them in line. Humans keep each other in line. And they do it by ridiculing or condemning anyone who commits the crime, because that's what it's become, of being different. And I refuse to conform uh, and be bowed by the ridicule. And what, what it does, Terry, when you step out of the little box of what would other people think, how do I put this in a way that people won't think I'm crazy, you then realize how small a box you've actually been living in. The, the family bond has been broken. It's an outcry for attention, why kids are going to school with guns. They want love, they want to be touched, they want to be held. But they're busy off on their day job and, you know, and they leave them at home on the computer and they just doing all kind of crazy stuff and that's destroying our world we need to bond again or bridging the freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of the people peaceably to assemble and petition the government for a redress of grievances. You will not presume to lecture this committee, That's the sir. First Amendment, Mr. Chairman. It's everything we're about, if only we'd live up to it. It's the most important part of the contract every citizen has with this country. And even though these contracts, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights, even though they're just pieces of paper with signatures on them, they're the only contracts we have that are most definitely not subject to renegotiation. Not by you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Applegood. Not by you, Mr. Clyde. You will stand down, sir. Not by anyone, ever. Too many people have paid for this contract in blood. Enough, sir. You are out of order. At this defining moment, change has come to America. Thank you. God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. Right now, we're building an embassy in Iraq that's bigger than the Vatican. We're building 14 permanent bases. What would we say here if China was doing this in our country or in the Gulf of Mexico? We would be objecting. We need to look at what we do from the perspective of what would happen if somebody else did it to us. They, they attack us because we've been over there. We've been bombing Iraq for 10 years. If we think that we can do what we want around the world and not incite hatred, then we, then we have a problem. They don't come come here to attack us because we're rich and we're free. They come and they, and they attack us because we're over there. Now you probably noticed I don't feel about that war the way we were told we were supposed to feel about that war, the way we were ordered and instructed by the United States government to feel about that war. You see, I tell you, 
My mind doesn't work that way. I got this real moron thing I do, it's called thinking. And I'm not a very good American because I like to form my own opinions. Everybody's so busy wanting to be down with a gang. I'm a conservative, I'm a liberal, I'm a conservative. Bullshit! Be a fucking person. Listen! Let it swirl around your head. Then form your opinion. Television is not the truth. So if you want the truth, go to God. Go to your gurus. Go to yourselves. Because that's the only place you're ever going to find any real truth. But you people sit there day after day, night after night, all ages, colors, creeds. We're all you know. You're beginning to believe the illusions we're spinning here. You're beginning to think that the tube is reality and that your own lives are unreal. You do whatever the tube tells you. You dress like the tube. You ache like the tube. You raise your children like the tube. You even think like the tube. This is mass madness, you maniacs. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are the illusion. Don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men, with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You, you, the people, have the power. The power to create machines. The power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful. To make this life a wonderful adventure. We know the air is unfit to breathe and our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to write. I don't want you to write to your congressmen because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore. I want you to get up right now. Get up, go to your windows, open them and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore.